guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video, I just wanted to talk about number one, the Bet and Tina scene at the end of episode two, because as sad and as embarrassing as this is, this is one of my favorite scenes of theirs throughout the history of Tibet scenes. I know that's embarrassing, but I am a sucker for high romance. It just felt to me like the end of a movie. It was like a Hollywood ending, and we are so starved of like happy and romantic lesbian content that I was just, I was just, I just needed it. It was feeding my soul. And number two, I also wanted to talk about the very real possibility of Jennifer Beals leaving Generation Q and leaving the L word for good. And I say possibility because it's not 100% confirmed, but it is looking that way. And I think the ending of episode two kind of ties into that a little bit. So I wanted to kind of like touch upon that. And also I just wanted to give my general thoughts on why I think she's leaving the show and how I feel about it because you guys know that I've been a huge huge Jennifer Bills fan for not even a fan like unhinged stalker for years and years and years I mean I do just love her very deeply within my soul I do yeah but let's start with that scene at the end of episode two season three Let, let's start with that Oh my gosh, bet running through the traffic is such an imagine me and you moment. I don't think this show's ever had an original idea, but I can't be mad about this scene though, because it's just so romantic and it makes me so happy and this show could use more romance and happiness, you know, so. What are you doing? Hi. Oh my god. Did you run here? Yes. Are you crazy? Yes. I love you. Bet is so raw and vulnerable in this moment and you can just see the kind of like love bursting out of her and like everything that she's wanted to say to Tina. She's like, you know, it's finally kind of coming out and... I love you, I've always loved you. I love you and I'm in this, in this forever. That's not our problem. It, it, it's more complicated than okay, that. Okay, it is. Right, so, okay. It's my god, Jennifer's acting here is just insane. It's so good. Building my career, and I'm so proud of that. What's interesting about this speech is I feel like it's both Bet and Jennifer talking. Because in the show, Bet's like giving everything up to be with Tina. And in real life, I feel like Jennifer kind of did everything within her power to put Bet and Tina back together. And then I feel like she's possibly leaving the show to protect their legacy. So like Bet is doing it for Tina and Jennifer's also doing it for Laurel. I did, that's just, that's just my, you know, theory. Oh, please. Please, may I come with you? Tina say yes, Tina say yes. Such a romantic kiss, and whoever did the lighting is so homophobic for obscuring it. They are just so homophobic. So yes, that scene is interesting to me. I just think there was a connection between what Bet was saying and what Jennifer was doing in real life. You know, I feel like Bet was giving everything up to be with Tina and I feel like Jennifer was giving everything up to secure the legacy of Bet and Tina. Okay, so thoughts on Jennifer Beals possibly leaving Generation Q for good. Ultimately, I just think it it's probably damage control. The way that this show has treated Bet as a character, the way that this show has treated the relationship between Bet and Tina is atrocious. I mean, it reads like bad fan fiction. It's not intelligent, nothing makes sense, and it was beyond tired. And I think there's a very real possibility that Jennifer understood that. And we know how passionate Jennifer is about Bet as a character, about this show, and about the relationship between Bet and Tina. I mean, she has constantly, repeatedly said, you know, that Tina is the love of Bet's life and she's never really wavered from that. She's always been very invested and passionate about that relationship. So I can see why what's happened in Generation Q would probably, possibly be making her unhappy, you know? I 100% believe that if it wasn't for Jennifer's input and if it wasn't for her passion over the relationship between Bet and Tina, that we A, wouldn't even have Laurel, 
back on Generation Q and B, there would be no Tina and Bet. I feel like if it was up to the showrunner, Bet would have moved on with A, B or C. And to me, it just reads like Jennifer did everything within her power to A, bring Laurel back and to B, secure the T-Bet legacy, you know, to secure their relationship. And if leaving the show was what she had to do to get that done, then leaving the show was what she had to do to get that done, you know? Bet and Tina mean more to her than this job. So I don't view her leaving the show as her abandoning the fan base. I view her leaving the show as a love letter to the fan base. And I 100% believe that she has always been so passionate about the lesbian community and about what this show means to people. I don't think she would ever leave this show for frivolous or selfish purposes. I just don't. And I know I kiss her ass. Like I know that. But at the same time, whatever else went on, whatever else else factored into the decision for her to leave the show. Well, allegedly. I'll always believe her heart was in the right place. And as much as I'm gonna miss Bette as a character, as much as I'm gonna miss, you know, my 3D glasses and popcorn watching Bette and Tina, as much as I'm going to miss all that, I 100% believe it was the right decision to leave the show. Because I think staying on the show would only do further damage to the character of Bette and it would just do further damage to the relationship between between Bet and Tina. Also, I think if we're being honest, I mean, where else is there for Bet and Tina to go on this show? What else is there for Bet as a character? What else is there for Tina as a character in that current environment that the show has created for them? It would be a different story if this show was in better hands, if it had a writer's room which actually cared about these characters and that relationship, knew what they were about and could write for them accordingly. I think it would be a different story but as it stands that's not the case and I feel like Jennifer and Laurel staying on that show is just dragging down their characters and it was destroying their relationship you know and you can definitely tell in the first two episodes of season three that they were quickly trying to rectify everything that had gone wrong and once they had rectified it they just kind of like hit the road you know and as far as I'm aware they're basically coming back for for the last two episodes, for their wedding, to have this huge celebration of their love, and then they're quite literally gonna walk off into the sunset, never to be seen again. And it's the best we can hope for in a bad situation, such as Generation Q, so yeah. It's not Jennifer's fault that the vision that she had for this show was not executed very well. I mean, that's not her fault. I do believe that she brought this show back or worked to bring this show back with the best of intentions. And it's not her fault that the show fell into bad hands. And honestly, I just feel really bad for her. I think the show is going to really really suffer without her. I do feel like Jennifer leaving is the nail in the coffin, I have to be honest. I mean, things are already not good on the show, so I just think things are going to crash and burn without Bet's presence. I do. There were two things that were keeping me invested in this show. The first one was Jennifer Bills and the second one was Sepa de Moafi and wow, the showrunner managed to push both of them out of the door. Okay. I guess the silver lining is I'm finally free. I'm finally free to not have to suffer through this show anymore. At least there's that. Obviously this season hasn't finished, anything could happen, so we'll just have to wait and see, but that's my take on it. That's just my kind of read on the situation, you know, and we'll just see what happens. But yes, those are my thoughts on the situation. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!